what's going on guys welcome back to another video my name is Amir CZZ and today we are doing a live stream on how to build Stampy's Gold Grab in the game so you can see I was just in my Stampy world getting a thumbnail I had to exit and save which is going to take a while sorry about that but I was just in my Stampy world getting a thumbnail I had to exit and save because I just finished building something I don't want to lose all my progress and I don't want that, don't want that, don't want that Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get through it in this video or live stream because I did it earlier and <laughs> couldn't upload the video. So I'm gonna do it in a live stream this time. We're gonna create a new world for this. We're gonna put it in super flat. So sorry if you guys want to be like that. So sorry if you guys want to be able to, I'll give you the path, that's going to be good, right, let's go edit layer, yeah it doesn't matter too much, okay, I'll just make this normal, doesn't matter too much, let's really get this all there, let's turn it off, let's go load it up, uh, let's get my notes, yeah, like I said, I recorded a video earlier showing you how to build this, and it failed, the video didn't upload to YouTube, it just failed the upload. So now I'm just going to go to my notes. So here it is. Let me turn my HUD and hand back on. So what we're going to need is some stone and some spruce planks. Can you guys see it on the video? Uh, yeah, you can't see my hand very well, but it should be fine. Um, the path, we've got the path, the path. We're gonna need some stone bricks for that. Okay. Let me see. Where are my notes? We need stone bricks. So basically what you're gonna do is make a path that is three blocks long, as you can see on the video. It's a bit bright, but it's fine. You guys can see it. This path will make it two blocks long going up there, because that's gonna be where what goes up over there. Go watch Red, X Redstone Tech for a tutorial on that. Uh, we're going to continue this path. So we need... 20... How many did I say? What was it? Uh, 24 blocks of grass. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. So we're going to put a path here. Of course this path will continue out that way a bit more. Because that's the path what goes around. Uh, what do you call it? It's not Burry Berry. So that's behind gold grass. Um, honey Hunt. Honey Hunt. That's the one. Now, I'm kind of hoping that you guys will be able to see this stream, unlike my video. I got one here. Hello, whoever's watching. I'm showing you how to build gold grab today. And they left. <laughs> By the way, I got this idea on t doing the tutorial from my friend Kieran Reader. He basically is doing tutorials on building mini games Diamond and Redstone Tech hasn't built. And I thought, why not help him out with this and do tutorials war of games he can't build yet and do them myself since I have them in my stampy world I can work out how long they are can I just change the brightness hi Evan oh oh no don't zoom in don't zoom in okay sorry about that guys uh, let me just move this a little bit there you go now you can see it was Evan watching, he said hi. So, what we're going to do is, let's continue this path going on out this way a little bit. Come to the 12th block, and pull. on the 12th block you need to place two stone bricks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which that 12th block is going to be the 
uh, path leading to the game. So, like I said, it should be 11 on the left to the door. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is good. So we're going to put 9 on each side, because it's a 19 by 7 square. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that should leave us two blocks away from the path here, which is good. That's what we need. And two blocks away from this path. And then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 19. We're going to double check that now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Go 7 in this direction, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we're going to connect this all up. Like that. We're going to go up 7, so that's starting from this block down here. What we did the ground level on. So that goes up 7 altogether. So we only need to add six blocks on top of this. So two, three, four, five, six. That should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is my first tutorial. Like I said, I did one earlier, but it failed. So this is my first proper tutorial. We're gonna go, hmm, let's not do that yet. Let's not do that yet. Let's do the same here. Just build, put an extra six blocks on the corners going up. That's what you need to do, so like that, and that. Now what you're going to do is put, in between these corners, put four rows, and I mean four blocks high, of spruce planks. So it should be a one, two, three, four, five by four square. Now once you put four rows of planks, put stone on top of that. Then you do one, two, three, four, five pieces of planks. And then you put three on top of that. Then one on top of that. Then put stone on top of the empty spaces where there's no wood. So it should look like that. Now we're going to come do the same on this side. Like this. this torches we're going to quickly grab just put them in the on the top stone block like this uh, let's get rid of the dirt in that we don't need we can put the torch closer to our stone bricks in now what we're going to do is the back and the front we're just going to use again do the four rows of um, spruce planks I want to say stone planks that goes over top of the door. That's one, two, three already. We've got one more row. And again, we're going to put stone on top of that. Oops, stone, I said. Now this top, the on top of the stone, we need to place a row of um, spruce planks. So we're going to come around to the back and do the exact same thing. And four. Sorry if the brightness is a bit too bright. I don't know how to turn it down on a live stream. And again, we're going to put this spruce planks on top of there. Now what we're going to do is connect all these stone blocks we have with spruce planks, like this. Oops. We're also going to do the same on the front, just connect this all up. Mm -hmm. 
I do want to give a shout out to um, my friend Kieran. He is doing a series the exact same as me. It's where I got the idea from. He told me I should do tutorials and I've been doing the exact same as him. He said to, so I'm going to do it. And to help him out a bit with games he can't build in tutorials because he hasn't got the right paths going around them yet and I do. So torches we're going to place on the corners, on the front and the back. We've already done the ones on the sides, so we don't need to worry about them. I'm going to place like this. This is where they go. I'm going to give you a quick look of this all. So now you can see it's starting to look like Stampy's treasure chest. Now what you're going to do is one, leave a gap above the door and place two stones. So it should look like that. And that is the outside of the game done. So now we're going to go inside and break out this entire floor. So I'm going to also grab that dirt and put that back. Also let me know what other games or builds in the towns you want to see me uh, do tutorials on. I'm planning on next doing one of Stampy's restaurants, what uh, like beet troop tea, one of those restaurants I'm planning on doing next. Because I have them in my Xbox One world, so I can always build them if you guys want me to. Um, no, whoa, 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 we're using the wrong material. That's what happens when I talk. So, what I meant to use for, with the spruce is all this dirt under the stone just break out and turn to spruce. This isn't something Stampy did, but it's something we're going to do because it will make it easier to build the floor. Well, we won't make it easier, but it'll just make it look neater. And we really need to change some of this dirt out to spruce anyway, so I'm just going to change it all out. You can do the same or not, just change out what you need to. So now what we're going to do is grab some blue wool and some white wool. Sorry about that guys, so what we're going to do with the blue wall is place three rows of blue wall. So that's one, two, three. Then behind that we're going to place two rows of white wall. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because it's how it is in my stampy world. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to next the doors. Next to the door, leave a gap of six, so there should be six stone, one, two, three, four, five, six. On the seventh, do, so we're on the right side, do one, two, three, four, five pieces of stone with two more rows of spruce above that. We won't worry about the rest for now. We'll do the upstairs when we get over to do the redstone. We're going to do the same on the other side, but the um, hole is going to be the opposite um, direction than it is on the other side. So it's going to be on this side, on the right side. So if we come in to the left, the hole should be at the far back. And if we come in to the right, it'll be at the front, basically. So we're going to put, do the same like that. Um, torches, we're going to add a torch. Um, was it? Yeah, it's right above the door. You're gonna come over here and go one to the right. right. Is this one above the door? Yes, good. And then put one torch in the middle on each side over here. So you can see it's got right up already. So now what we're gonna do is add a floor up here of spruce wood planks. 
Now, before you get confused, there are no logs in this game. So don't worry about that. It's all the planks. Now, I won't do a tutorial on the circus because Kieran wants to do that, so I'll let him do that one. Okay, let's not look on up there yet. So what we're going to do is, in front of this door, break one hole, then one on each side. Put some glue, replace that dirt with blue wall, and you can see this is where we need the spruce. We're going to turn around, come do the exact same place on the white side, and replace the dirt with white wall instead. Now, in front of the middle blocks, we're going to put a blue wall and a white wall, like that. Then what we're going to do is just grab some minecart tracks, and we'll grab normal rails, panel rails, and detector rails. And that is everything we need. Oh, we don't want them connecting, so let's not do that. We're going to get this minecart track going into there. And the other one's going to turn around and go this way. I'm going to do the exact same here. Turn around and go this way. And that's going to go into the little room. Which we're going to break out this block later. Uh, let's add a detector rail here. And power rail there. The same on this side. Okay, so that is basically downstairs done. We just need a... Um, what do you call it? A minecart with a chest. Okay, now we need three. Let's go work from the side because the redstone is easier from the side. We're going to put three power rails. I'm going to grab some spruce. We place one next to this normal track. And we go up with three more steps. Like this. Six. Two, three. And the reason we needed three steps was because up here we need to place a normal rail and then... Another two power rails, and then it goes across by with spruce, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Then just go put a power rail there, break a hole here, this should be right over the middle, as you can see. Also, this block underneath, that just changed to a spruce block. Now we're going to get some normal rails and connect them up to that, like that. And you've got one side of the track done. I'm going to grab some torches for up here. Now this panel we did on the outside with five, three and one spruces. We are going to continue on the inside but one block away from the outside one. Also we're going to place a torch just to brighten it up. I don't know if that torch is there. I'll take you onto my original Stampy World after this video and show you guys that. I didn't realize it's taken us 18 minutes to get this far into the video. Okay. Again, place that torch there, get rid of that one. And torches up here just go in the middle. Did I get this torch right? Yes. Okay, good. So now we're going to come back down here, go to the other side. And basically it's the same with power rails, just do the exact same steps. What you told me to do on the other side, if I could actually switch to spruce. Two, three. And then you want two power rails going up. Oh wait, this needs to be one block down, right. And then this, this one doesn't go six. This one's confusing, this one goes three. Then by three, and then it's another three, like this. So you should end up with this, well, no, that one's a two. You should end up with this pattern here. A three, three by three, and then it's two. This needs to be a power rail here, and then these are normal rails. Go on with that. So that's all the track done. This is all the Minecraft tracks you need. So now it's time to do the actual redstone. If I was done 68, I would put the redstone alert in there, but I can't do that. I don't have a laptop to edit any of that stuff into it, or a PC. Right, we need some spruce back, we need to basically place a button here, and same on the other side, place a button right here. Come back up here, break out a block above the button, I 
Paint glass when you do it? Yes. Let me get rid of that for now as well. Because it place that. And basically all you're going to do is try and connect these minecart trucks up. So this one would be like this. Let me show you the trail. You go from the bun, then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go over one to the right. And that connects up to that power rail. It doesn't matter how you do the redstone. If you want to be authentic, then go ahead. But it doesn't matter that much. What it looks like, just grab some redstone torches. Basically, place one just above the middle power rail, and then one here at the top of the at the top power rail, like that. And that's going to be the same on both sides here. And like that. And you're probably thinking, why don't we like these ones? Up? These are going to be powered by the redstone. We'll do that when it gets around to it. We'll do the same redstone here. That connects up to that one. So now, we come down here, grab a minecart word chest. Let's give this game a test, shall we? So we can basically push this. There are normally things inside this chest. I don't know what are inside it though. I will take that into my stamping world. I think I didn't save after my last tutorial, so I should have everything there. Which is going to give the game a test on both sides. I'm going to do the blue first, then I'll go do the white. So you can see that gets taken up there. You can see the minecart there. Press the button. And did that do nothing? Yeah, that did nothing, apparently. Oh, right, we did the buttons one too low. Just move them up a block. Sorry about that, guy. Just move the buttons up one block. That's just a small detail I missed. And I have messed up before. And still did nothing. Let me go check to see what's gone wrong. It's working. Oh, I see what's happened. Okay. Now what I also might do is just move the redstone a little bit. Just to see if that gets it to work. Okay, let's come up here. Right, let's give that another test, shall we? Replace that. I, I know what happened. Alright, let's get that going. Nope, nope, go back that way. So, this game is a little bit like Shucky Shark, so we'll get it going the white way first. This game is a little bit like Sharky Shark, where the fact you need to basically get a minecart to a certain location for a hole, but the only difference is you're not using fishing rods with this game. So now if we go press this button over here, we'll see the... we should... Okay. What has gone wrong? Two, three, four, five, six... Oh! Basically, I see what I did wrong. You just add, need to add these two blocks right here. Now it should work. Fine. Uh, did we do that pan yet? Torches, we did. Good. So again, let's get this going. Sorry about that, that was one small detail I missed out on. I did not mean to do that. I was meant to add them blocks in, but I just completely forgot. Right, we press the button, we see the minecart come down, and what we'll do is show you the white side, it works the exact same. Like I said, this game is like Sharky Chug, only you're not using um, fishing rods, and I think the prize is different with this game. Press the button. And, okay, the white side didn't work as well, hmm, if I get rid of this block and replace it, this worked, I 
Okay, so I can tell that this world is facing a different direction. My actual stumpy world. Let's get it going again. And let's try again. That's there. There we go. It works. Perfect. So all we're going to do now is add a door. I believe it's oak still. And we're going to add a sign. Saying gold grab. Gold grab. There you go. And this should be gold grab done. What I'm going to do is quickly take you onto my stampy world. So I can get a nice outro of the actual game. Here it is, Stampy's Lovely World, where you can see I have the game built. I'm going to show you this world, and show you what it's meant to look like. So if you find any corrections I need to make, let me know in the comments. And also, feel free to change it yourself. But I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like in my Stampy World. So you can see torches are in the same place. Let's just show the inside to the outside. It's actually perfect. We did it perfect. So you can see what I mean by the path. There should be a gap of three in between this. And like I said, there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four blocks of grass. And also another way I knew I was gonna get through it today is because I did a tutorial yesterday and my phone went dead. So that was great. Let's show the inside. So yeah, how this works. Oh, and also this is what should be inside the chest. Basically do this pattern um one, two, three, four, five, six gold. Yeah. Basically just pause the video and do this pattern. This is what was in his chest when he built it. I don't know if it's still there now. But it was there when he built it, so just add that. Um, I need to replace that soon. You can see the redstone's the same. Yeah, we would have been okay to do the redstone like this. It's fine. There's nothing major. Also, I have a torch back here. I don't know if that's still there. And over there. If you want to add them in. Sure, go ahead. I don't know if they are there or not. But I have them there. So if you want to add them in, add them in. That's not up to me to decide. So yeah, that is gold grab done. What I'll quickly do is while we're in my stampy seed. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. No, no, no. Okay. I'll just reset the game. <laughs> I'll reset the game after this video. I'll give you a sneak peek of what's to come in the next progress video. I'll have Roadhog in the next progress video. Bouncy Boats in the next progress video. You can see down here, it's entirely done. And Coffee Corner, which is over here. And more. I will have more in the next progress video, don't worry about that. That will be coming out on Sunday. I will record that on Saturday and release that on Sunday. Just in case you're wondering when that will be up. I do a video, I upload a video every Sunday now. Hi Karen. You joined up a bit late because it's near the end of the stream now. So you joined up a bit late Karen. I'm just about to end my tutorial. Also Brock Brawl isn't done, I need to change some vegetables. I'm going to quickly show you the game. Go grab and I'm going to end the live stream. I know, I saw some of it, XD, the redstone part. Okay. So I want to say thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be on Sunday. So, bye. Are you sure you want to stop streaming?